Hi, my name is Dr. Melody Rodarty. I'm a physician in the Phoenix area, and my specialty is internal medicine, obesity medicine, and hormones. And I am excited for you to watch this webinar, as I would love to introduce to you some healthy options, uh, specifically how to activate your GLP-1 system without a medication. So uh, just to give you a little background, I've been in practice since 2006. Uh, I have my own practice, and I absolutely love keeping people healthy healthy and out of the doctor's office. It's a little uh, saying that I have started to say like since the beginning and it's funny because most people are like, really, you wanna keep us healthy? And I said, yeah. And the neat part about it is um, you can learn how to stay healthy. And just because you have a diagnosis doesn't mean that you can't manage it or stop the progression of that diagnosis as well. So um, in the past, we used to think that you um, were not in control of your gene expression. And I would love for you to know that you can be in control of over 95% of your genes. And so it does make a difference um, how your lifestyle is. So with that being said, uh, I'm going to share my screen and I'll, I'll be able to just explain a little bit more with you um, about why you're watching this, hopefully. So um, with that, let me do this. All right. So um, this is one of the sayings that I say, take control of your health by activating your health and slowing down the aging process. And how we can do it is through nutrition is one of the best ways of doing it. So diet is the most important influencer of the gut. It can be medicine or it can be poison. So Hippocrates, all those years ago, he said disease starts in the gut. He also said, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. So um, a lot of people kind of chuckle when they don't, you know, when they find out that I'm uh, an obesity medicine specialist as well as a foodie. And so I like to tell people there's a difference between good food and um, processed foods. So um, let's get started here. So uh, the company that I want to talk about right now is called LifeVantage. Full disclosure, I sit on their medical advisory uh, board. I've been doing it for about seven years now. I do not get paid for that position. I absolutely love this company because it has uh, the term biohacking or uh, um activation as part of it. And so it is not a me too company. We are all about how do we activate the body, the cell at that cellular um, structure to function like it's supposed to, right? How do we activate it back to health? Um, there are so many supplements on the market and this is different than supplementation. This is activation. This is getting to the root. Um, and so if you've never heard those terms, I'm glad um, you're here tonight and I want you to ask us questions as you uh, continue to learn. And so um, what is nutrigenomics? It is um, the learning um, that nutrition can actually help with cell signaling and then in turn help turn on and turn off genes. So what you are um, is from what you are eating as well. So um, nutrition helps with cellular signaling um, as well as gene activation. So this part of nutrigenomics is where we really want to um, focus on activation. So we have a choice every day. Do we want foods on the right that are nutritionally dense? These are your whole foods. These have nutrients in there versus foods that are processed on the left. And if you are find yourself more often thinking about the foods on the left, guess what? You're not alone. Unfortunately or fortunately, um, biochemists um, are uh, hired to have you desire these foods. They make up the chemical makeup that you can't find in nature. So you become addicted to those flavors and you seek them out. They also make them calorically um, insufficient. So you can like, let's say, finish a whole bag of chips and still be hungry, um, or at least be hungry in the next five minutes, because there isn't a lot of nutrient density to it. Where on the right, there is so much nutrient density to it, you can't keep eating it. I've never had anybody eat a pound of, you know, carrots or broccoli, um, or, you know, you can't really eat more than, I, I mean, I guess you could if you wanted to, 20 ounce steak, but you're not going to really feel hungry in the next five minutes after doing that. And so 
I love anatomy and I love giving pictures. So on the left hand side, you're going to see it's a tube all the way from your, your mouth to your rectum. Um, and that is your microbiome. You have a separate micro microbiome on your skin. Um, it has certain functions. You have one from your mouth all the way to your rectum. And it's mostly digesting your food, absorbing your nutrients, um, you know, converting enzymes. Um, your immune system starts there. So there, it, it's this highway, you know, um, of information. And so when you take a section of the intestines, you're going to look on the right hand side. Um, there are cells that are um, called that are, that are three together and they're really tight. They have tight junctions, meaning what's in the lumen or the inside of the gut is not going to get through easily to that that the blood right there. And so when as we um, age, we have infections, antibiotics, um, uh, glyco glycophosphates, I mean, so many things, it can cause a leaky gut, mold, parasites, you know, you name it. And that's where you're going to notice that that barrier is broken. And those circulating immune complexes are in the blood. And now we're um, you know, we are getting through the blood brain barrier. We are causing inflammation, autoimmune issues are happening and you're having malabsorption and nutrient deficiencies. So what we're trying to do is prevent a leaky gut from happening. But I like these pictures because hopefully you're, as I move through this and I talk to you about why the importance of GLP-1 is, is present and so popular, you're going to be able to go back to this and go, okay, I know what she's saying. Why, where are things kind of sitting and working? So GLP-1 is a hormone that we naturally produce, okay? So our L cell is in our intestines and it produces GLP-1. What does GLP-1 do? It regulates our appetite. It regulates our blood sugar. It helps it keep it in a good homeostasis, meaning balanced. It promotes fullness or satiety, the feeling, the feeling of feeling full or not hungry. The L cells are, um, they secrete around erectogenic um, peptides. Um, I'll talk in a little bit um, further about these, but PPY, uh, PYY, these are really important. They follow our vagus nerve um, up to our brain and they say, hey, you are full. Um, hey, you don't need a snack or I'm, you know, they stop those cravings. So really important um, neuropeptides there. Um, GLP-1 is a neuropeptide as well. You have receptors on your brain. Um, and so there's really an incredible uh, connection between your gut and your brain. And it's called the gut-brain axis, and it follows the vagal nerve. And so natural ways of increasing our GLP-1 is having a healthy lifestyle. If you have known me for any time period, you're going to know that I want to know about your sleep, your bowel movements, your stress, um, your water intake, all of these are really important. These are important to help you naturally increase GLP-1. So is a high fiber diet. Those are called prebiotics. Healthy fats like olives and avocado can help. Probiotics will support the gut as well. Um, and our proteins. These are things that can naturally increase GLP-1. The most common one aside um, are ways of increasing GLP-1 right now is synthetics. Many of you have heard um, of the synthetic uh, GLP-1s that are out there. Maybe you've used them. You've probably seen them all over your social media. Well, guess what? They're not new. Um, the older versions came out probably 15 years ago. They were specifically for diabetics um, and they, they worked okay. But in the last five years, um, the newer generation of them are working incredibly and they cause a lot of weight loss. They help in other ramifications as well, like reducing cardiovascular disease and chronic kidney disease, but they can have very unpleasant side effects and um, they can be very expensive. Um, and so what I love is now there are there's a way to activate it naturally. Um, in the news and in the social media and in classes, you're going to be thinking there are other activators. Unfortunately, there really aren't activators. They are at lower um, clinical doses, but they are very supportive. So there are great products that can be supportive. Um, none of them will have in the clinical studies that I'm going to show you next. So we are first to market with the mind-body system for a patented way, um, a patent pending way to increase your natural GLP-1. And we increase it on average of 140%. Um, and we are balancing those 
um, hunger hormones. And so there's no injections, there's no prescription either for this. And so um, let's go into it a little bit more detail. So what does uh, do the benefits um, you know, what can the benefits be of this? So we're going to support and um, sustain healthy weight loss and wellness. We're going to balance those hunger hormones. We're going to cause satiety. Um, we're quieting that food noise. Um, and the biggest thing is maintaining a healthy blood sugar level. Um, that's really key to this GLP-1 action. So it's not just for the gut and the brain, like I've been mentioning so many organ systems have GLP-1 receptors. And so when you look at this graph, you can look at all of the different organ systems and the um, benefits um, that are occurring secondary to increasing GLP-1. So um, like, let's say the pancreas, it's great. It's reducing apoptosis. Um, it's helping beta cell proliferation. That means protecting the cells and helping insulin production. Um, and it is going to also, when you kind of look through to the liver, as well as the muscles, insulin is good. Too much insulin or not having the correct receptors is bad. So you want to have this balance. And this is what GLP-1 does. In the heart, we're going to really help with cardiac output um, and heart rate and naturesis. That means that diuresis um, that the kidney can do as well, reducing um, swelling, edema. So, so many benefits here. And um, there are indications on the medicine side. So just think about when you do it naturally, how much more um, you are hitting those receptors and getting the benefits. So here is just a few of my favorites that I kind of pulled out that you can kind of look at and put pause, kind of take a peek at. I love that last one, beta cell proliferation and apoptosis, really just protecting our pancreas because it's getting hit hard as we age. So our system is activating in two ways. So you are directly activating GLP-1 in the L cells. And then with the, um, and that's through the core product that has, um, that is a capsule. And then on the right-hand side is the enhanced product. It is the powder. And that's indirectly activating GLP-1 by optimizing the gut microbiome to create short-chain fatty acids and fuel production. Um, and then we are actually amplifying GLP-1 activity as well. And that's because we are increasing GLP-1 receptors and decreasing the enzyme that breaks down GLP-1. So what is the enzyme? Oh, I'll actually come back to that in just a minute. Here are the key ingredients you have um, in the core, and that's the capsule. Um, a lot of you have probably heard of like the lemon bioflavonoids, chromium, berberine, maybe the rest you haven't really heard about with helping GLP-1. But this is, remember, a patent pending uh, combination here. And then the Enhance has several types of fibers, kombucha. It has digestive enzymes. It has um, the probiotic bacillus in it. So it's a great um, blend uh, and this helps you really um, help your micro gut, help you feel full. Those of you who are not used to a lot of fiber, I always say start low and slow um, because most Americans are not good with fiber intake because they're not used to it. They're getting maybe one to three grams and we should be getting more than maybe 15 grams a day of fiber. So when you first add it in, you know, your gut's going to go like, oh my gosh, what is this? So um, we always tell people start with two scoops. You can always increase to four scoops as you are tolerating this. Um, and the more healthy diet you have, the more likely you are going to tolerate it because you're used to your leafy greens and maybe your complex carbs and all of that. I can go into detail later. Um, so the in vitro study that we did first, um, showed that we increased GLP-1 production in the L cell by 54%. This is why we moved on to the human study as well as the patent. So what else did we see during this um, study? Well, we saw an increase in the gene activation that I was telling you about. The most important one that I love is we reduce the DPP4 um, gene expression that you can see in the bottom right hand. That is important. There is a medication that does that. So go figure that we're doing something now naturally instead of taking a medication to do this. The, by decreasing the DPP4 um, gene expression, you're increasing GLP-1. 
So what the, are the two neuropeptides I was talking about earlier when I showed you that screen? PPY and PYY. We increased those as well. And that travels up that vagus nerve. It also goes um, up, you know, through our bloodstream and it's telling our brain, you're not craving, you're not hungry, you're getting full. Um, that's really important. So in the human study, what did we see? We saw an average of nine pounds um, loss in eight weeks and up to 25 pounds in two weeks. That's incredible. And during this time, we didn't see the muscle loss that we have seen with the injectables. I will tell you as an obesity specialist, I get my patients to eat a lot of protein so they have less muscle loss as well. Um, but that's key, your nutrition as well as using an, uh, a product that is not gonna promote uh, muscle loss. And so here are some great pictures. We had an early product release group. It was called Club 55. They were not 55 years old, but there were 55 participants in it. And it was just wonderful to start seeing what was happening in the first three to four to five weeks um, for them. And then we get to see the first, you saw Shauna in the top. Now you see Shauna at 12 weeks, she is 25 pounds down. Um, just incredible um, inches that are, are uh, decreasing as well as the scale number. Um, people overall feeling like they have a clearer brain, um, they have more energy, they are definitely in more control of their food intake and feeling full and not snacking. Um, here's Angie. Uh, I know her, that she was doing everything prior to being on this as far as getting her hormones balanced, exercising, um, you name it, and feeling like she hit a plateau. Well, with starting the natural um, MB core and enhance, you can see her results here. Here are Heather's results as well in just four weeks. I love that she has the same clothes on so you can see how they are fitting. Um, and then I just want to talk to you about a few other things that are really important to me. One is slowing down that aging process through uh, increasing NRF2. So NRF2 is a pathway in our body that re um, helps us reduce oxidative stress. Well, guess what? GLP-1 reduces oxidative stress as well. So we want to marry them together and just really help our systems out here. So our, our flagship product is ProTandem NRF2. We take it to make anti our own antioxidants. You're not having to take an antioxidant, you're making them. Oxidative stress equals aging and the impact can be brutal. So we want to help our cells um, increase their antioxidant production to help repair the cells and fight the signs of aging at the source. And so this is a practical tip. Our own body, um, when we use ProTandem, we are releasing a million, uh, uh, um, we're able to neutralize a million free radicals at a time versus a one-to-one. -one. I can always go into more detail for you on that, but those are the key parts of ProTandem NRF2. It's a combination of five ingredients, ashwagandha, bacopa, milk thistle, green tea, and turmeric. Some of you might have um, cooked with them, take them because you heard they were great. Now you have a patented product to show that it's doing more than just the separate uh, ingredients. It's a synergizer. Then we have the Take It Healthy Glow Essentials to make antioxidants and collagen. Um, collagen is big, especially when you're losing weight. You want to help the structure of the cell. That's what collagen does. It helps the structure of the cell. It's not just skin, hair, and nails, y'all. Um, and so we have a patent on this combination showing that it's increasing gene expression of those collagen uh, um, uh, genes, as well as reducing the collagen degrading genes. Um, again, that's a whole separate lecture. We can go into detail, but we are activating, maintaining, and replenishing collagen with this, and it tastes great. Um, who doesn't want to have um, a collagen product that works, right? It's more than just, like I said, skin, hair, and nails, and joints. Um, and then we have a fat burn. Um, it's made of Sinitrol. That's the main ingredient. And so you take it to um, take fat burn to burn fat. So it's increasing your brown fat. Your brown fat helps your metabolism. With this product, you are burning 181 more calories um, and you're not even having to take a walk to do it. So it's helping your brown fat. It's helping with the release um, and breakdown of triglycerides to make free fatty acids and you and uh, um helping your, your metabolism. So this is kind of a fancy little uh, um, graph for that. Um, and I had to leave it here. 
have a healthy meal plan. I can't do weight loss without talking about meal plans. So it's all about, you know, getting your water intake, getting lots of fiber, um, getting lots of clean proteins, um, reducing carbohydrates, um, and sometimes throwing a fasting schedule in there or um, restricting your time. Like you don't eat after 7 p.m. So many ways of implementing that um, and just making sure that you are um, reducing your cal caloric intake to a safe level. Um, and when people ask me, what's your favorite diet? I'm like the one that you'll stick to, the one that works for you. So it's not going to be a specific, but the Mediterranean diet is, seems to be the easiest for people to do. And then last but not least, for those of you who are tired um, and feel brain fog, what I love is our Axio helps with energy um, and through our brain. It's like brain nutrition. So there's uh, DMAE, L-theanine, quercetin, the uh, methylated B vitamins in there, um, and it's an NRF2 activator for the brain too. So reducing oxidative stress at that um, brain level. So I hope that there was something that interested you um, in there. Um, the main thing was getting to know GLP-1, but how you can put them together um, in order to just overall help your health. Um, and so get back to the person who invited you to this webinar or to myself if I shared it with you. Let's put together a plan for you. Um, the products are easy to order. You can build reward points on it too and you get wholesale through the website. So ask for that. Um, and those of you who might be like me and love to share when you have a great product, um, let's talk about that as well. And so with that, thank you for your time um, and ask me if you have more questions and would like to go into a deeper dive as I have webinars on some of those products um, that go into a deeper dive. So with that, enjoy your day.